Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. You guys have been with me as I've tried all kinds of new car stuff and today I'm bringing you along for another adventure. I tried autocross for the first time so I'm sharing that experience with you guys coming up right now on Stuff with Steven. Autocross is a growing motorsport that is all about car control. Drivers race around a course made up of cones in a large flat space and try to get the best times around that course. It's a great place to find the limits of your car with very little risk of hitting anything other than a cone. I had the chance to spend a weekend getting my feet wet in the sport down in Grenada, Mississippi. Saturday was spent at Autocross School and Sunday was the actual Autocross event. I originally planned on doing separate videos about both, but decided to combine it into one upload, so here we go. So autocross school was broken down into three main parts, an oval track, slalom, and mini autocross track to get a feel for the sport. In all three portions, I had the chance to have my car driven by an instructor and then drove on my own while getting tips from an instructor on how to improve. The oval track was the hardest for me and was all about getting acquainted with taking the best racing line. A racing line is basically the most efficient path through a corner. I was having trouble training my brain to turn in early enough and staying to the outside to get the best line. I did start consciously thinking about it after a few runs so I was able to see some improvements. Moving on to the slalom, I actually found this to be one of the easiest things to do. The key is to enter at the right speed and maintain that speed throughout. Once I figured out a good speed, things went pretty well although the weight of the Camaro was really apparent as the car's weight shifted during each turn. Alright, so we are getting ready to start the autocross portion of the afternoon. I don't know how well y'all can hear me since this is pretty much blocking my mouth. But uh, anyway, we're just going to all trail behind each other and go through the course really, really slow so we can kind of see how the course is set up. And then after that, we will come back out and that is when we will... Uh, actually have instructors in here and start going over the course and uh you know uh, getting some tips and pointers the slalom and oval are really good practice tools because a full autocross course is basically just a series of slaloms and curves in the afternoon i got on the course they had set up and really enjoyed it one thing i noticed is that i have to learn to adjust my driving style in certain areas in daily driving i always pay attention very far ahead which is the same thing you should do on an autocross course this allows you to set yourself up for the next obstacle before you get to it. Unlike in daily driving, I was having a problem staying ahead so I was very last minute with many of my steering and throttle inputs which hurt my times. For some reason I was also having trouble making good use of my brakes. On a normal day I drive very smoothly so I rarely have to get on the brakes hard and I just couldn't overcome this habit. This too was bad for me because the Camaro is such a heavy car that you really need to use the brakes hard sometimes to be able to slow it down to get around a tight corner. Nevertheless, I did manage to learn some useful things over the course of my 6 runs that I was able to use to knock off about 7 seconds on my time. I would also be able to use these tips at the autocross event the following day. Okay, so hey there YouTube, thought I would come at you guys and uh, just chat real quick. I'm at an autocross event. Um, yesterday I was out here down in Grenada, Mississippi for autocross school and today is the actual autocross event. So this will be my first time on a full autocross course. And uh, you know, I'm gonna be recording all day. Um, probably won't have too many snippets of me just telling you guys what's going on because it does seem to be things are moving pretty quickly here. But I will have plenty of good footage for you guys and I'll be telling you all about my experience autocrossing. And so without further ado, let's get to it. So here's my first run. I only put in about 60% on this run to make sure I knew the track well before I started to apply more power. Okay, so I wanted to pop at y'all before I got some time in between this first and second run. And this court, yesterday I was all over the place um, because the course is a lot tighter. This one has a lot more slaloms and um, sweeping turns on it, which for some reason I'm fairly decent at the slaloms, but it might be because I didn't put too much speed on that first one. But anyway, I felt really good on this uh, first one 
but the car felt a lot better. I felt like there was a lot more control in the walkthrough that we did this morning, literally walking the course. The I was thinking about some of the things that the um, lady who led us told us, and a lot of that stuff as I was thinking about, I think that really, really helped me as I was going through this. Um, since I did okay on that, now I'll start trying to put some uh, speed and power into it and uh, just, you know, see if I can push the car to a limit. The first run was 108 and we'll see if we see if we can get, you know, something a little bit lower. Even though I sounded pretty confident about knowing the course in that last clip, I messed up both my second and third runs. I basically went the wrong way, which resulted in back-to-back -back DNFs. That stands for did not finish. I just kept getting confused and one of those times was almost really bad as you just saw. After my third run, it was time for me to take a break and work the course. In order to keep the cost of autocross events low, everyone who drives also works the event. My team was stationed in the middle of the course which had a great view of the action. We basically picked up cones if someone hit them. This worked out great because I got to watch car after car go by and that allowed me to cement the course in my brain. Thanks to that, I didn't get any more DNFs. Thanks to finally being able to complete the course, I was able to focus on getting better times for the rest of the afternoon. So these are all of my times compared to the other 5th gen Camaros that were out there. As you can see, I wasn't too far off from them. Okay guys, so just finished up the day. Um, if I had to sum it up, you know, a lot of fun. Um, I always enjoy doing these um, events. It's, it's good to learn because, you know, I don't, outside of these events, I don't really push my cars or anything. I just, you know, really just drive them, like daily drive, you know, cruising and stuff like that. And so it's good to be able to go to nice controlled environments like this um, and really learn the limits of the car because that's really sort of one of the benefits the best benefits I think of autocross that you go out there and you push your car to the limit and you try to learn that car control and now thinking about the weekend overall I'm very happy because you know I saw improvement like even looking at today um, my beginning times or my end times were a lot better than the times when I first started I cut like I think six seconds off my total lap time so I'm pretty happy about that also I feel a lot more comfortable in this car doing maneuvers and stuff like that so um it'll be interesting just to see once i get some new tires on this thing how that'll change the dynamic um because i will be doing more autocross things in the future it's like super cheap and super fun so i see absolutely no reason not to uh but yeah that's that's all i really got to say about it a great event um a lot of fun and uh you know there's autocross places all over so if you haven't tried it yet i mean it's worth it you really can go out there in just about any car and try it out and have a good time so how we got to do a pull. I love that. Love that exhaust. But anyway, yeah, so just a lot of fun. I highly recommend going out there trying it. You know, if you enjoy it, sign up for SCCA so you can do even more events. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. I hope I gave you guys sort of a glimpse into what you know it's like to do autocross and um also um if you like the video be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that because i got more content coming at you as always and uh yeah be sure to share the video as well but uh anyway thanks you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one